hello all in this uh, tutorial in this video we will try to see uh, we try to visualize uh, how bases are formed so in this video we will basically see some vectors in r3 and uh, check whether those vectors forms a basis or not so in the lecture you have already seen that uh, the definition of basis so the definition of basis means uh, it can be defined in two ways so one the first way is uh, the basis is basically a maximal linear independent set or in other way we can say that it is minimal spanning set So what does this to mean? Suppose uh, we have a vector space V and uh, we are taking some vectors from here. Suppose V1 is in V. Then any singleton set V1, it is obviously linearly independent. So it is better to mention that this V is non-zero. Uh, so we are taking a non-zero vector v1 and we are claiming that uh, it is obvious that uh, this uh, singleton set v1 is linearly independent now if span of v1 is v then we are done because it is a linearly independent set which spans the whole vector space so this v1 forms a basis if not then we will take another vector v2 non-zero vector v2 from v minus span of v1 so if v not equal to span of v1 then there exists some other vectors v2 which is not in span of v1 but which is in v so we will take that some some of that vector let it call v2 and we will add this in our set now as v2 is not in span of v1 then these two are this set v1 v2 is linearly independent then what we have to do then we have to check whether span of v1 v2 whether is it v or not if it is v then this is our basis if not i mean if not means uh, span of v1 v2 is not v then again we repeat the process we will take some vector v3 non-zero vector v3 from v which is not in span of v1 and v2 and we will add this to our set so this will again be linearly independent and so on the process will continue until we find some set of vectors v1 to vn for which span of this set is our whole vector space if we come to this point then we can say uh, by this algorithm then we can say this v1 to vn forms a basis of v now further if we add some other vector space other vector from v in this spanning set then what we get we get that new vector suppose v prime from v we add in this set then this will obviously be an be a spanning set of v but if we remove one of the vectors from v1 to vn suppose we remove some vi where i is 
in 1 to n some vectors in this set then that will not span the whole set v because that's what the algorithm says it is step we are taking spanning set and we check whether it spans v or not so if we remove one of the vectors then it will not be an uh, be a spanning set of v so this this set v1 to vn is a minimal spanning set which gives the first definition uh, sorry the second definition of basis and uh, what about the maximal linearly independent set if we add some more vector in uh, with v1 to vn like v prime we have done then this set becomes linearly dependent because v prime belongs to span of v1 to vn what does it mean it means that v prime can be written as some linear combination of v1 to vn so clearly we get a linear combination of v1 to vn and v prime which will give us zero as this alpha 1 v1 alpha n vn minus v prime is zero so this is a linear combination of v1 to vn and v prime uh, where this uh, coefficient some of the coefficient are non-zero must be non-zero and it gives us zero vector so the v1 to vn and v prime forms a linearly dependent set so the maximal till uh, so the linear independent set v1 to vn is the maximal one if we add one more then it will become linearly dependent so this gives us the first definition of basis now suppose we consider r3 as our vector space and uh, let's see um, how bases are formed using the vectors of r3 so at first let us uh, let us consider a vector 1 comma 0 comma 0 on r3 so it is on x axis along x axis it is at a distance of 1 from origin and uh, let us take another vector 0 comma 3 comma 3 so it will look like this 0 comma 3 comma 3 okay now let us see what is the spanning set of these two vectors so span of these two vectors will be the plane passing through these two point and the origin because spanning set uh, must contain the origin because if we take uh, the linear combination of 0 into the first vector v1 and uh, 0 into the second vector v2 then obviously 0 is in the spanning set so the spanning set of these two vector will be the plane passing through these two uh, points and origin which will look like this so this is the spanning set of these two vectors 1 comma 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 comma 3 so this is the spanning set so clearly you can see that uh, this does not span the whole r3 because there are many uh, points outside this plane which are in r3 so it does not uh, span r3 okay now let us consider another point 1 comma 2 comma 4 so here is the point 1 comma 2 comma 4 uh, which is written as c here so if we call back our plane previously which uh, is the spanning set of 1 comma 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 comma 3 we can see that the point c is not on the plane it is outside the plane so point c the vector c is not in the spanning set of a and b okay now if we consider the spanning set of b and c let us see what it ha what happens so this is the plane which passing through the points b and c and also through the origin so this plane is basically the spanning set of uh, vectors b and c and you can see that point a is not in in the plane so this plane also does not span um, span the whole r3 
so you can see that okay <coughs> now if we take a point 1 comma 0 comma 2 you can see that this point 1 comma 0 comma 2 which is denoted by d here is on the on this plane so the point 1 comma 0 comma 2 is in the spanning set of b and c but if we consider the point 5 comma 2 comma 2 suppose we are considering the point 5 comma 2 comma 2 and you can see that this point is not in the span of b and c because this point is not on the plane now let us call back our previous plane which is the spanning set of 1 comma 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 comma 3 so we can see that this point e 5 comma 2 comma 2 is on the spanning set of first two vectors a and b because that point is on the planes on the plane which passing through the points 1 comma 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 comma 3 so this this geometry will give you an idea about the spanning set now our aim is to check whether the points a b and c forms a basis or not so these are the three points where we can see that the span of a b is not uh, is not spanning the whole r3 uh, again span of b and c is not a spanning set of r3 but if we consider the span of all these three points then whether is it uh, spanning r3 or not that is our question basically when we can say that r3 is a spanning set of these three vectors we, we have to check we, we if we take any arbitrary point on r3 and uh, we can write it as a linear combination of these three points. So, for example, we are taking here uh, a point 1 comma 2 comma 3. This 1 comma 2 comma 3. So, we can check that this 1 comma 2 comma 3 does not lie on the spanning set of AB. And it also not on the plane passing through BC and origin. So, it does not lie on any two spanning set which we have seen earlier. So, it is some other point on R3 which does not belong to the spanning set of A, B or spanning set of uh, B and C. And so, we will try to write uh, this new point 1,2,3 as a linear combination of A, B and C. And let us see whether we can write it or not. So our aim is to write this point F as a linear combination of A, B and C. So let's see how we can do it. So at first what we do, we take a uh, linear combination, special linear combination of A and B as half of the point A plus 1 by 3 of the vector B. So half of the vector uh, 1 comma 0 comma 0 plus 1 by 3 of vector 0 comma 3 comma 3 will give us half comma 1 comma 1. So, which is the point G which we are seeing here and let us draw the vector to see it perfectly. So, this will be the vector G and now if we call back the plane which is passing through the point A, B and origin, you can see that the point G lies on that plane. So, G is basically in the spanning set of A, B because uh, clearly we have written a linear combination of uh, A and B to get the point G. So, it will lie on the plane. Now, we try to see the spanning set of G and the C and the point C. If we see the spanning set of these two vectors, we will get this plane. So, this plane will pass through the point G and C and origin. So, this will be the spanning set of the vector half comma 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 comma 4 and you see that the point F lies in this plane the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 lies in this plane so what we have done here we have taken a point G which is in spanning set of A and B 
and then we consider the spanning set of G and C to get uh, get some plane on which the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 lies there. So basically there is a linear combination of these three vectors which will give us the vector 1 comma 2 comma 3 and you can do it for any vectors in R3. So and that we will check algebraically uh, just in a minute. So basically this is a geometrical representation how we forms a how you find the basis of some vector space uh, like we, we have done here for R3 uh, with the three points three vectors 1 comma 0 comma 0 0 comma 3 comma 3 and 1 comma uh, 2 comma 4. So in the example what we have seen that we have taken three points 1 comma 0 comma 0 0 comma 3 comma 3 and 1 comma 2 comma 4 these three points and we have checked that this forms a basis that was that is basically our claim so what we have to check uh, we have to check uh, uh, whether uh, this uh, this set is linearly independent or not so what we will do we will write some linear combination of this and equal equate it to 0 and check whether this a b and c is 0 or not so this will give us a plus c 3b plus 2c and 3b plus 4c this is 0 comma 0 comma 0 so this will give us a plus c equal to 0 3b plus 2c equal to 0 and 3b plus 4c equal to 0 so this last two equation will give us 2c equal to 0 which will give us c equal to 0 and if we put c equal to 0 in the first one we will get a equal to 0 and if we put c equal to 0 in the second one we will get b equal to 0 so uh, clearly these three vectors are linearly independent and uh, whether it will span the whole vector space or not what we will do we will take any vector x y z in r3 and we have to write as a it as a linear combination of this three vector so basically again uh, this a into 1 comma 0 comma 0 b into 0 comma 3 comma 3 and c into 1 comma 2 comma 4 whether it will be possible to write it as x y z or not uh, so we will have to find this a b and c so in the example what we have done is so i i want all of you to uh, do this uh, a plus c this will be 3b plus 2c and this will be 3b plus 4c will be x y z and i want all of you to calculate what will be the value of a b and c here and it will uh, if you can write this a b c in terms of x y z where x y z is the given vector given arbitrary vector in r3 which you are trying to write as a combination of these three vectors so if we can find a b c in terms of x y z then we are done so uh, it will prove that it will show that x y z is in the spanning set of these three vectors so it is linearly independent and any vector of r3 can be written as the spanning set of these three vectors so it will form a basis now in this particular example in place of x y z we have taken 1 2 3 and uh, if we solve this a b c here uh, you will get a will be half b will be 1 by 3 and c will be half for this vector 1 comma 2 comma 3 so this thing we have seen in uh, in geometrical context and we have seen how spanning set linear independent or dependent set and how bases are related with each other. Thank you.